still an active gas leak that uh, NICOR is working on neutralizing at this time. Based on the description, do you believe it was a gas explosion? Um, it's too early to speculate for me. I'm not an expert on that, so I really don't want to say one way or the other. Where does it look like the point of ignition might have been? Was it, it, was in a, it was in the garden apartment. The garden apartment, so in the ground level? In the, yeah, in the basement. In the basement yeah. level? Yeah, that's below. That's still the below grade level. Yeah, yeah. And was it an actual apartment, or was it like a shared utility room? No, they're apartments. There's two, two apartments. There's, there's six units total in the uh, building. Do you know how many people lived in there? The uh, total people, I'm estimating at this time, of about maybe 10 folks, um, but we're, we're getting all the numbers here. And but everyone's everybody. accounted for. Everybody has been accounted for. Yes. Was, the, was the woman who was injured in that uh, garden apartment? Yes, she was. That's a permit. So this was, we're just uh, very thankful that the explosion happened the way it did and that um, we don't have anybody seriously injured. Well, I just heard the explosion, and then once I heard the explosion, I just came out, and they said that it was gas. I didn't really see it here too much. My brother was here at the time, though. Uh, I think the uh, boiler room exploded. That's what it looked like from a uh, downstairs basement. I think the neighbors, somebody must have been messing with the boiler room, and it exploded.